What is up guys and girls, I am back in my garage and luckily enough, a couple of days later, these tank pads arrived that we said we were gonna put on to that. So yeah, they're just cheap ones I found off of AliExpress. Thought I'd give them a go, they got quite good reviews. And they looked a bit different to a couple I've seen online. I can't remember the brands now, but there's a couple that you can find. And they've got like a, one's like a long square strip. Wasn't really a fan. Kind of looked like a Mohican or something like that, or a Mohawk. So I decided to stay clear of that. And then these ones look pretty good. But yeah, they look all right, 3M tape, or well, 3M stick, shall we say, quite thin. The main thing is, is they grip. I have tested these, i.e. I've just rubbed them against my leg, as weird as that sounds, just to see if they grip onto my jeans, which they do. So yeah, let's get over to the bike. Let's put them on. I don't know how I'm gonna line them up just yet. We're gonna work it out and then see how it goes. So let's get these onto that and see where we go from there. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean the tank. And luckily, just by sheer coincidence, I did wash the bike earlier today and went for a nice ride. So when these turn up, about half an hour ago, we were ready to roll. So I'm probably gonna focus on this top one first and I'll get a close up so you can see how we're doing. And I'm gonna line that up and then see how that looks and then go with these ones afterwards, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of wing this as I go. So obviously this tank pad is gonna go up here somewhere and I will spin the camera around at some point so you can see it. But it'll look something like that, which is pretty cool. Maybe we'll go a little bit lower for the belt buckle and even out the gap from here to here and try and make it a bit more symmetrical. But yeah, it looks way better than the other ones I've seen, like I said, with the Mohican kind of strip. So let's just get to it and see what we can do. So that's obviously the 3M tape. So it's quite flimsy, so I'm thinking. I think that's it, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, do you know what, I'm just gonna commit, because if I don't, I'll never do it. And if you're like me and you're a perfectionist, you'll be here all day trying to get it perfect. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't get like a ruler or a straight edge out and kind of like go across and get the measurements each side. But to be honest, from what I can see, and I'll show you in a second, it's pretty spot on. Nice, and I'll see how that holds up. But like I said, these are quite cheap, so considering the alternative, the big brands, I don't really mind if this doesn't hold, but from what I've seen, it should do just fine. So let's just let it dry and see what it looks like. So minus my little finger marks that I've made, it looks pretty good. Nice, I'm happy with that. Let's get to these guys. So I'm gonna get onto this one now, and this is what it looks like. And it does actually fit quite nicely. I mean, obviously it's been made for it, but if you make like a nice little kind of border around here by eye, you can make it fit pretty good. So I'm gonna get this one on first and then I'm just gonna work my way around to the other side. Yeah, I think it looks nice. It looks nice and practical. I've got a nice border around here and I've come a little bit lower because that's kind of realistically where your legs sit. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go around to the other side and try and get it lined up. And I'm gonna use this, this, and this as a reference point, I think. What you guys can't see is I've got a way better angle from the top, so I can line this up pretty good, I think. I just played with it a bit, just trying to line it up. But they're actually pretty good, they give you a bit of play before they start sticking, so you can mess around with them a little bit. I mean, the lighting kind of makes it look like they're a lot more gray than they are. In real life, they're quite dark. Like I said, I'll, I'll get it out. You'll see it in another video where I have it outside and I have it in normal lighting. So they're not as gray as they look. They're actually matte black. So they fit the bike really well. Because they do stand out like this, you can kind of see them, which is good on the video. And I'll just give you a little walk around of what they look like. And as I said it before, the main part for me getting these is the fact that the other ones I've seen tend to come up. Oh, there you go, you can see it's black a lot better here now with the normal lighting. But yeah, um, the other ones I've seen kind of come 
there's one in two pots. I can't remember the brands. Like I said, you'll have to find out. But it comes up here and then all the way across. And there's a second pot that comes across here, which kind of takes up the whole side of it, which I think one is overkill because your legs kind of only really hit here. And I'll show you in a second. I'll jump on the bike and I'll show you what it sits like. I like the MT logos on here, it kind of matches the bike. So of all the ones I could find, the AliExpress one happened to look the best, especially with this bit. This bit is my favorite bit of them so far. There is another one that says Yamaha here. I think it's the official Yamaha one, but I think the price difference is about four or five times just for that. So like I said, if these don't last and they come off, we'll find out and I will order the proper Yamaha ones, I think. But if not, definitely a good buy. The only thing left to do is let it dry and I'll take off my smudgy finger marks, which I've just put on after washing it. So let me jump on it and I'll show you how it sits, I think. Yeah, so just jumping up on the bike. I really like these mirrors, they look cool. You can see it fits pretty good. Um, I'm sitting quite a way back now, just like leaning back so I can get the camera angle in. But if I sit normally, you can see that they fit pretty much. I mean, my foot's on the foot brake. So you can kind of see it fits kind of perfectly and it gives you a little bit of play. So when you do kind of dig your knee in around the corner, if you do want to go a bit more aggressive, if you say it like that, uh, you can still get quite a bit of pad on what you're wearing. And hopefully you're wearing proper riding jeans, not these, at least bare minimum. But yeah, and that's me on the other side. So they fit pretty good, exactly where you'd want them. And I can already tell without going for a ride that these are gonna make a massive difference because it wasn't the biggest problem, but it definitely is noticeable that you do slide on this tank quite a lot, especially with the matte finish. As you can see me rubbing my hand on it, it's quite, quite slippery. But these are gonna make a massive difference, especially with this much power. Sometimes you just literally give it a bit of throttle and then you kind of slide slightly back, which even just trying to demonstrate it to you then, I couldn't go back. So these are definitely an awesome buy. So I hope you guys like the video. I will keep you updated, like I said, as I go with the bike. I've just ordered some EvoTech frame sliders. So once they get here, they should be here anytime soon. We'll install those. And I am in the process of getting some new shorty levers. There's nothing wrong with these. I just think they look better. I found a couple of cool black ones online. And like I said, going with the whole all black theme, it'll be great. So like I said, once they come, we'll get onto that as well. But yeah, that's the AliExpress tank grips, very good buy. Recommend them 100%. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you want to see. Definitely leave a comment if you liked it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully it's not raining outside and we can go for a ride. Maybe show you some scenery of New Zealand. Anyway, enough talking for me. Happy with these. See you in the next video.